Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, supporting your local store as to buying packs from Walmart. So a very interesting story, I've said it in my Patreon feed or my Patreon whatever. And so I went to get Magic Origins because I assume that my Patreon people would want the newest set um, as opposed to like an older set, which I already have older sets. But I went to the store I should have called in advance. That was my bad. Like, that's my bad. I should have called in advance. And they didn't have any fat packs. Then I went to another store, and again, I didn't call in advance because I was like, oh, well, okay. And they didn't have Magic Origins and fat packs. And I'm little, I don't know why. Like, it doesn't make sense to me why they want to have Magic Origins fat packs, but they do not at this moment in time. And, and I look at it and I say to myself, huh. I want to support my local store, but I know my Patreon people probably want, you know, fat packs of Magic Origins. So I went to Walmart, and the experience at Walmart is tremendously bad if you're interested in buying Magic cards. First of all, uh, Walmart, the lines, at least in my Walmart and Humble, are very long. They're insanely long, and fat packs that I can get for like $30 at Walmart cost $40. And yeah, that's not the greatest um, when you pay 25% more and then you pay tax and stuff like that. But back to Walmart. Walmart has all these older fat packs and some of them used to be extremely valuable. They had some Innistrad fat packs, which I saw, but for whatever reason, I didn't comprehend what I was doing. I think I took a picture on Instagram and that was it. And then I purchased one and I opened it and that was the end of that. They also had some um, Gate crash. They had a lot of great gate crash actually in Dragon Maze. They used to have Dragon Maze, but now they don't anymore. So Dragon Maze is running low in supply. So Walmart has all these random fat packs, um, and a lot of times I don't buy from Walmart because like they like these packs are like open. You can kind of see like somebody's been in them and they've either like replaced the cards or something like that. So Walmart not the greatest place to buy cards, and especially. Since although I don't play locals very much anymore, I made a video about that, about timing constraints and stuff. I totally want you guys to support your local card store. Because without your local card store, this game just dies. No one can play Magic at Walmart. Like, you cannot. Actually, I'll make you guys a wager. If you guys can show me a picture of an FNM, let's say you have your FNM at Walmart. It's gotta be at least eight people. I'll send you guys something cool. Um, but you cannot play Friday Night Magic at a Walmart. You cannot meet your friends at a Walmart to play Magic. You cannot trade at a Walmart. You cannot do anything that you would do at a game store at a Walmart. So it pains me to have to buy this stuff from a Walmart. Um, and it should pain you too. And then you might say, oh, well, I'm TG Lionel. You know, I need to save money. I, I got to save some money and I got to save money. That's like what most people say when they shop at Walmart. Do you really have to save that $10? Is that $10, you know, the difference between this fat pack and buying it at Walmart and buying it at your local store that much to you? Or is having a place to meet your friends, is having a place to meet people who have the same interests as you, is having a place which has a, you know, a set time that you can play Magic, is that more valuable to you than, you know, like, saving money and in this case you're not even saving money most stores can compete against walmart prices and that's because they get it cheaper and they probably get it for the same price but walmart is probably contractually obligated to put it at a price that allows the stores to compete against it so i would never buy anything from walmart unless it was absolutely just in this case and i still kind of feel a little sick about it because i love supporting my local stores and you know paying what 40 40 40 40 160 times eight percent paying like 175 dollars to a walmart where that could go to like a local game store is a little sickening to me and i'll try not to do that in the future i'll figure out a way to get the fat packs that the patrons want to open um in advance i do feel like fat packs run out a lot faster than booster boxes i think that's very true and yeah, so do not buy from your Walmart. 
buy it from your local game store, support your local game store, and without your local game store, Magic as a card game does not exist. I can openly, I can simply state that, and I don't think anyone can refute my argument about that. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe sometimes it's more expensive, maybe sometimes you don't get the best deal at your local game store that you could get online, or at Walmart or something, but if you don't support your game store, just like Phoenix Games, that was the problem with Phoenix Games. The dudes would get in a car and they would drive to Target and buy packs and then take the packs to open at Phoenix Games. That was my local game store when I went to uh, grad school. And it bankrupt like four times. And that's the problem when you have people who, for to save 40 cents, will go to a Target and buy packs, right? Anyway, we will open all of this next month. Bye, guys.